The Tyson Fury vs. Anthony Joshua feud has been evident for a very long time, and it's a great wonder how these two very great fighters have never stepped in a ring together for a proper man-to-man -man dominance challenge. Their war has mostly been that of words and mostly on social media, from Joshua mocking Fury's retirement to Fury trolling back after defeat. We've got it all. Make sure to stick around till the very end. Kicking us off, Anthony Joshua mocks Tyson Fury's retirement. Anthony Joshua made fun of the fact that Tyson Fury Fury is giving up boxing. After beating Dillian White by a knockout in April, the Gypsy King gave up boxing. He began hinting at a return almost as soon as he made his announcement. Fury was quickly linked to a fight with Francis Ngannou, who was the UFC heavyweight champion, but he quickly turned his attention to a trilogy with Derek Chisora. They had fought twice before, in 2011 and 2014, and both times Fury won. The heavyweight champion of the WBC thought it was time for a third fight, but Del Boy turned down the trilogy fight, saying he deserved more money. In response, Fury announced on social media once more that he was leaving the sport. It's hard to keep track, but this is at least the 34-year-old's third retirement. He also stopped boxing after beating Vladimir Klitschko. Now, Anthony Joshua has said what he thinks about Tyson Fury's decision to quit. During a press conference for his rematch with Alexander Usyk, AJ decided to make fun of his longtime rival. In the call with the media, Joshua said, yes, I can get him out of retirement. I mean, he'll bring himself out of retirement so it's a sure thing. He'll come out of retirement on his own. Shit. I think he's pretty bored because there's nothing for him to do, and I don't think he's thought about what he'll do after boxing. I'm going to get a dog and a Ferrari to keep myself busy because I don't have much else to do. I think he'll start working again soon. Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury haven't fought each other yet. AJ and the Gypsy King have been talking for years about a fight in the UK, but it seems like every time the two got closer to making a deal, something would happen to make the fight worse. Joshua and Fury were talking about about fighting in Saudi Arabia last year. But as a mandatory challenger, the former had to fight Alexander Usyk first before he could fight the WBC heavyweight champion. Since a win against Usyk would have upped the chances of a Tyson versus Joshua showdown, what happened? This was supposed to be Joshua's night of redemption, when he won back the WBA, WBO, and IBF titles that Usyk took from his 11 months ago. When they fought in Tottenham, the Ukrainian had won that night, but Joshua had let himself down when he decided against going with his instincts and instead tried to outbox his opponent. It would never work, and he had to pay for it. This time, there would be no mistake to repeat. The well-known Mexican-American Robert Garcia, Joshua promised to be more aggressive, and he kept his word. In the first round, he charged forward, and in the second, he took control of the center of the ring. Throughout the fight, he hit his opponent with hard shots, but in the ninth round, the challenger unleashed hell and sent the champion scrambling around the ring. But at that very moment, Usyk showed his class by knocking Joshua down with a big left hook in the tenth round and he kept going from there. He also won the last two rounds, so it wasn't a surprise when he was named the winner. The only surprise was that it was a split decision, with two judges giving him scores of 115 to 113 and 116 to 112, and the other giving Joshua a score of 115 to 113. This made many people raise their eyebrows. It was a questionable call, but it showed how brave Joshua was, and it would be a shame if his tantrums after the fight made people forget how brave he was during the fight. Losing, which was his third in 27 and fights as a pro hurt. There were already rumors before the fight that this would be a good time for him to give up. For Usyk, a 20th straight win in two divisions solidifies his position as one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world. It also puts him in prime position for a mouthwatering unification fight with Tyson Fury, should the 34-year-old Mancunian come out of his latest retirement, which he hinted he would do on social media shortly after the fight. Usyk definitely wants to win this contest. It seems the Gypsy King took Joshua's words to heart and recently, Tyson Fury mocked rubbish Anthony Joshua with a new Instagram post. Tyson Fury made fun of Anthony Joshua again after Joshua lost to Alexander Usyk for the second time in a row. Soon after the fight, the Gypsy King ripped into both fighters on social media, saying it was one of the worst heavyweight world title fights he'd ever seen. Fury also seemed to say that he would be willing to fight unified champion Usyk again. In Saudi Arabia, Usyk added the historic Ring Magazine belt to his collection. Now, the Gypsy King has made fun of Joshua's actions in the ring after the fight, when he stormed back from the tunnel to give a passionate speech. He put a meme of Fury running to the ring for his fight with Dillian White on his Instagram story with the caption, AJ running back to the ring to talk absolute rubbish. After losing by a split decision, AJ looked upset and spoke from the heart into the microphone, praising his opponent, Usyk. In a long, angry speech to Sky Sports, he said, If you knew my story, you'd understand the anger. He later said, I'm not a 12-round fighter. 
fighter. Look at me. I'm a new breed of heavyweights. Mike Tyson, Sonny Liston, Jack Dempsey. You don't throw away combinations like Rocky Marciano. I'm 18 stone. I'm heavy. It's hard work. This person has a lot of talent, so we'll cheer for him three times. Eddie Hearn, Joshua's promoter, spoke up for his man when Joshua was having a hard time keeping his tears in check at the press conference after the fight. In a later interview, he said, You saw Joshua's reaction there. Tyson Fury is a man who says openly that he has a lot of mental health problems and struggles and other things like that. So if you want to know what kind of man Fury is, look at how he treats people when they're down and sad. Well, to no surprise, Alexander Usyk challenges Tyson Fury to unification fight after beating Joshua. Alexander Usyk has challenged Tyson Fury to come out of retirement and fight him for the undisputed World Heavyweight Boxing title. This comes after Usyk beat Joshua for the second time. The Ukrainian made it clear that he only wanted to fight Fury after beating Joshua again in Saudi Arabia to keep the WBA, WBO, IBF, and IBO belts. The WBC champion Fury said in April that he had promised his wife that he would retire, but he also said that he had always wanted to fight Joshua. This month, his manager Frank Warren said that Fury had itchy feet and was eager to get back into the ring. When asked about a possible fight, Usyk told the crowd through an interpreter at ringside, I'm sure Tyson Fury hasn't retired yet. I'm sure he wants to fight with me. I'd like to fight with him. I won't fight at all if I don't face Tyson Fury. After Usyk won, Fury posted a reaction video to Twitter that was full of swear words. He said, It was one of the worst heavyweight championship fights I've ever seen. I would kill them both in the same night, he said. Finally, as a bonus, Emmanuel Navarrete retains title with body shot KO of Eduardo Baez. It looks like Emmanuel Navarrete was about to start a fight. One shot to Eduardo Baez's body put an end to that idea. Navarrete set up Baez in a very good way, and Baez was knocked out in the sixth round. This allowed Navarrete to keep his WBO featherweight title and defend it for the third time. After giving Baez a right uppercut, Navarrete hit him on the left side with a shot. Baez stopped for a second and then took a knee. He couldn't even try to get up from there. And when the 10 count was called, the fight was over in 1 minute and 5 seconds. Up until the sixth round, the fight was close and close. In the first five rounds, Baez, 23-3-2, 7KO, had more hits than Navarrete, 89-92, and seemed to be doing well with Navarrete's unusual style. At times, Baez felt like the aggressor against Navarrete, who hasn't lost a fight in over a decade, and is 36-1 with 30 knockouts. By the end of the fight, Baez had hit Navarrete more times, 96-94, and landed more body blows, 34-12. He also jabbed Navarrete more, 23-20, but Navarrete landed more power punches, 74 to 73. In every round of the fight, Baez also landed a high percentage of his punches. The ESPN broadcast said that Baez was ahead on two of the three judges' cards when the match was stopped. Unfortunately, guys, that's all the time we had for today. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel for more boxing news. Till next time, cheers!